I'm going to miss that Brett on The View. And, you know, my reasoning as to disliking her is not because of her politics. It's more because of her just outward prejudice and being um, a brat and being spoiled and, and not being truthfully honest and lying. That's the only reason it has nothing to do with her being conservative, because I lean uh, conservative, I lean more right than I do left as well. It has more just her brattiness and her actually not, you know, being 100% honest. But like I said, I'm going to miss her and I, hopefully they'll hire a host just like her or um, even more conservative than she is, because we don't need five polished political hosts on The View. Let's just be honest. Well, Joy Behar is not polished, but we don't need everybody agreeing with, none, with one another on the show. to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button. You'll be the first to know when I upload. Please do subscribe to my second channel, JOA TV. It is free. I really do appreciate if you stop this video, go subscribe and come back to this video. My last video actually did really well. It got like almost what's probably at what almost 600 views right now. Um, so thank you so much. Please do subscribe there and please tell your friends about that channel as well. I really do mean a lot. I want you guys to watch this clip of Megan McCain acknowledging Brian Thader, the producer. I'll come back with something more. You got the floor. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say other than thank you all so much again for the privilege and honor it has been for the past four years to work on this show. It really has been incredible. It will be on, you know, it'll be referenced in everything I do for the rest of my life. Um, you women have been so incredible to work with, the crew, the producers, everyone works so hard, and honestly, the audience uh, giving me, you know, four years to give my opinion and, you know, show my perspective. And, um, you know, this has been a really wild uh, ride the past four years of my life. It's been been the, honestly the best of times and the worst of times in all ways on and off this show and it's been a really incredible liberating experience and I will always cherish the time I spent with all of you so thank you all from the bottom of my heart and I hope that our executive producer Brian can forgive me for um, making his blood pressure rise for the past four years as much as I probably have. <laughs> so, um, He's Megan, laughing. He's why laughing. don't you read? Why don't you do the? Why don't you do the send off today? All right, everyone, have a great day and take a little time to continue enjoying the view. So Brian Fader, baby, I'm sure he had to take a lot of Tylenol, some Advil, some Aleve to um, lower his headaches because Megan McCain allegedly called him a mother. A uh, mother effer on 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 the view, well behind the scenes, and she would often allegedly say things um, off script than what they would uh, actually pre prepare for on call on producer call, and so that would definitely make Brian Theta really aggravated and frustrated and annoyed by Megan McCain. You know, he even came on camera one time to um, lessen the blow between Whoopi. Um, and Megan McCain because of the uh, technicality of their audio system and, you know, Whoopi saying, um, yelling at Megan and, and whatnot. So, like, he had to come on camera. And it's it really speaks volumes when an executive producer whose job description is to not come on camera does come on camera. So there, there was definitely um, the equivalent tension on camera as well as off camera. We could um, we can t really tell. But like I said, my, I do give her her flowers. Um, I don't really like her that much as a person just because her views towards Palestinians and her views towards Palestinians is not a political issue. It's a humanistic issue. Treating humans fairly is not under the criteria of politics. It's just simply treating humans fairly. Um, it's just basically being decent and courteous um, to humans. It has nothing to do with it has nothing to do with politics at all. That's my reasoning of not really liking her. And the fact that she's bratty. And she says things that she doesn't really mean. Like, you know, she lies sometimes, you know. Um, and I don't like liars. There's another reason why I don't like her. It's nothing to do with her being conservative. I loved Jedediah Bila. I love Jedediah Bila. Oh, my God, I loved her so much. Like, I, I love that woman. Super smart. Um, so it has nothing to do with her being conservative. It's the fact that she's a bratty girl. And um, the meltdowns was just hilarious. So... Hopefully we'll see more of that next season. Hopefully it'll be a Candace Owens or it'll be a Megyn Kelly or eh, I don't really don't want Kelly Ann Conway. She'll be like my last choice. But hopefully, you know, that will be there on the view. Please do subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Click the bell. So you'll be the first to know when I upload. Please do subscribe to my second channel, JOATV. Thank you so much for the support. 
Deuces. Yeah!